I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question from my subscriber on quadratic modeling. The question here is determine quadratic equation to describe the curve that best fits the following data from the flight of a golf ball. So in this particular case as the horizontal distance increases uh, or I mean I should have written here which is in meters the height of the ball changes right so that's that's the value given to us so that's the table of value which we are going to work with now whenever we have data we can approximate it to uh, find an equation so the best thing here is we can approximately plot a graph and see what kind of values are given to us so in this particular case, at 0, we have 0, right? Then 20, 60, 80, 100. At 20, we have something like 15, and then we 28. Let's say this is this is 15 for us, okay? And then I'm just making approximate uh, scatter plot here to get an idea of what kind of curve are we looking into. Uh, since quadratic equation is mentioned, so we know we have to look for a parabola right okay so at 0 we have 0 at 20 we have 15 and then the values go up to 100 in this case so let us say uh, this is 20 and then this is 40 60 80 100 let's say this is 120 and so on correct okay at 20 is kind of 15.5 so we can say somewhere here slightly more than 15 at 60 so this is at 20 okay 40 at 60 we are given a value of 28 which is less than slightly less than 30 at 80 which is kind of here we have 25 so sign somewhere here right so somewhere here 25 and at 100 it's kind of similar to 15.5 so we can say at 100 uh, which is here we have value now from the symmetry, since uh, this is 20 away, we expect that after 20 we should get 0. Is that okay? So this kind of graph which we can expect, let me join it. It gives you a parabola, right? So, so I'm just joining. And let me just fill up these values, kind of like this. Is that okay? So that's the kind of parabola which we get where the maximum will assume is at 60 correct so what we have assumed is let's assume maximum is at 60 meters right so so at 60 meters distance from where the ball was hit we assume that maximum value is 28 right so that's the maximum value so let us say horizontal distance is given in x the variable let's say this is x and that is y for us in that case uh, we could actually start with the vertex form also since the heading here is quadratic models factored form so in this particular video we'll concentrate more on factored form so factored form basically is um, an equation which should be written in the form of y equals to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2 where x1 and x2 are two zeros right so where x1 and x2 are zeros right that means the values where the height should be zero so that is that is the zero we are looking for so how to find these zeros one of them is given to us so we could definitely write y equals to a times x minus zero uh, x minus what is the other one that is what we need to figure now if we assume 60 to be the distance at which the height is maximum then that means from the symmetry we know that 
zero should be equal distance away, right? So if it is 60 away on the left side, it should be plus 60 on the right side also. Therefore, we expect zero at 120. So that could be a reason which you can give. And so you can assume that the zero is at 120. And based on this assumption, we'll write 120 here, right? So we're making another assumption here that the other zero is at x equals to 120 meters, right? And how did we get to this? This is from symmetry. Correct? Since we assume that the maximum is at 60 meters, the height of course is 28 as given to us. So now we are saying if one zero is 60 away, the other one has to be 60 away from the axis of symmetry, right? Because axis of symmetry is x equals to 60, is it okay? So that is how we get this value. Now the question is how to find value of A? We can select any of these values to find the value of A. I could use 60 and 28. I could also use 80 and 25, for example. So let me use 80 and 25. That is to say, if x value is 80, y value, which we are saying is height, is 25. So we could write here 25 for y equals to A times 80 minus 0 times 80 minus 120, right? So that is 25 equals to a times 80 times 80 minus or 120 is minus 40, correct? And therefore, a equals to a negative value, 25 divided by 80 times 40. Is it okay? So, so that's what we get. Now you could use calculator to figure this out. So it is. 25 divided by 80 and then we divide this further by 40 to get the value which is well uh, 0 0.0078125 but the better thing could be we could simplify this and write in fractions correct so this is like kind of 100 right so 25 goes four times so let me write this in fractions so it'd be minus 1 over so it is 8 times 4 which is 32 right it is basically 32 100 which is 4 is it okay uh, because 100 divided by 25 will give us 4 8 32 100 and then we are dividing that by 25 is it okay so which is minus 1 over multiply this 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 3 is 12 so that is the value of a and that gives us the equation which is y equals to minus 1 over 128 times x times x minus 120, right? So that is how you can get equation, in this case, quadratic equation, to model the given data to us, right? So we see that the data actually represents path, a projectile path of the golf ball, which could be represented as a quadratic equation factored form and that's how you could get it you know we did two assumptions here one that the maximum is at 60 meters the height maximum height is 28 meters and the other zero is assumed to be at 120 same distance away from the axis of symmetry which is assumed to be at 60 right so i hope that helps you to figure out how to assume and then get uh, the equation quality equation in this case to represent the given data i'm anil kumar thanks for listening you're most welcome to post questions and your queries thank you and all the best